should exist. Penrose calls it utter chicken feed by comparison. So, if our universe were just a random member of a world ensemble, it is inconceivably more probable that we should be observing an orderly region no larger than our solar system. Observable universes like those are simply much more plenteous in the world ensemble than finely tuned worlds like ours and therefore ought to be observed by us. Since we do not have such observations, that fact strongly disconfirms the multiverse hypothesis. On atheism, at least, then, it is highly probable that there is no world ensemble. The fine-tuning of the universe is therefore plausibly due neither to physical necessity nor to chance. It therefore follows logically that the best explanation is design. Thus, the teleological argument gives us an intelligent designer of the cosmos. Three, the moral argument. If God does not exist, then objective moral values do not exist. By objective moral values, I mean moral values which are valid and binding, whether we believe in them or not. Many theists and atheists agree that if God does not exist, then moral values are not objective in this way. Michael Roos, a noted philosopher of science, explains, the position of the modern evolutionist is that morality is a biological adaptation, no less than our hands and feet and teeth. Considered as a rationally justifiable set of claims about an objective something, ethics is illusory. I appreciate that when somebody says, love thy neighbor as thyself, they think they are referring above and beyond themselves. Nevertheless, such reference